Hi, my name is Matthew Mossbrook. I'm the director and chief curator here at the Morrison Natural History Museum. Our little museum is special. It's a very small institution, but it's hands-on and very approachable. The Morrison Natural History Museum is a rare institution. If you want to go behind the scenes at a museum, you don't need special access here. We take everyone behind the scenes. Here we are at the nose end of Tyrannosaurus Rex, and kids come in sometimes, little kids, and they're they're a little put off, a little afraid, and I say, no, come on up here. You can touch our fossils, at least with two fingers. Please stick your fingers right in the nostril of T-Rex. Feel around for boogers. This puts the child at ease. Because nothing is better than a touchable T-Rex, and Jurassic fossils too, to get kids' minds thinking about science and math and engineering and even calculus. Because this is irresistible. You want to touch it, you want to feel around it, you want to understand why it has great big thick teeth, whereas Velociraptor has little sharp teeth. That's why museums like the Morrison are so wonderful and deserving of your support. Hi, my name is Greg Talley, and I am owner of the Best Western Denver Southwest, uh, which is the Dinosaur Hotel, and we are a strategic partner of the Morrison Natural History Museum. This museum is laser focused on dinosaurs, on prehistory, uh, and they do it in a way where there aren't railings, there isn't glass. We want you to learn. We understand that learning is not just looking, learning is not just through the eyes, learning is through actually touching the fossils and the casts. It makes it real, it makes it intimate and alive. Without the people who are here, this is just a building with bones. We need good, strong people and we need volunteers and we need donations to help this place grow and thrive. Volunteers are the lifeblood here at the Morrison Museum. We volunteer our time to teach you about natural history, including how to clean fossils like this one here. And in return, hopefully you'll share your knowledge with the public. Our volunteer program is well suited for teens and adults, however we do have special programs for the younger kids. We'll teach you how to clean fossils, how to explain fossils, and how to understand fossils. Uh, but not necessarily all in that order. Very few museums in the United States allow people to clean fossils in the Paleo Lab. They're delicate objects, it's understandable. We take everyone into the lab, we give you the air scribe, put you on a piece of sandstone so you can clean fossils. We believe in including everyone that's interested in natural history. My name is Joseph Talley. Um, I've worked here at the museum for about three years. Occasionally I'll go upstairs and drill on the 144 million year old rock surrounding an Apatosaurus Ajax maxilla bone. We'll actually let any person to come into the museum and take a tour, chip away at some of that rock and expose ancient bone from the sandstone. Not many people can, can say they've done that, but it's a, it's a very cool experience. My name is Meredith Talley and I am the president of the Morrison Natural History Museum Foundation. You know, the more kids study science, the more they are going to think. Moving into the future, science is absolutely critical for improving our world. And the more kids we can get interested in science, the better. If they have a love for paleontology, history, biology, for any of the things that you can study here, um, they become curious and they're going to feel encouraged to learn more. When you give to the Morrison Natural History Museum, you are promoting science literacy, you are enabling kids who might not have the opportunity to visit the museum, you are helping us build our flex space, which is gonna be useful in so many ways, and you're also helping us grow our collections, which are very important. We would love to add even more great stuff to the museum. Thank you so much for your support of the museum. You are helping a very special organization.